Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead, and today we've got a lot going on. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? Let's just get right to it. We have been canning. Yep. It is canning season. It is canning we'll, season. We'll show you about that a little bit later, but as you can see, we um, are smack dab into one full week of homeschooling. Yep. One week down, second week begun. Now, I help out, but not nearly to the degree that Mama does. She's 99% of everything. And outside of needing, you know, some, some deep mental counseling, how are you feeling? <laughs> See all these gray hairs? There's one for every student. One for every day of schoolwork, every student. You getting in the rhythm of it? I think half of them are from you. Not true. <laughs> oh my gosh, Not yes. this guy. Oh yes. Not this oh, guy. Oh yes. Of, yes, but of course, all the gray here are is from, from her. me. <laughs> yeah, why is this normal and then that's, that's that? That's not normal. It's normal. It's, not normal. it's normal. Anyway. Anyway. So, a lot of stuff going on, and I think we're going to start by um, telling you about this awesome campground that we got to go and visit with some friends. Mm -hmm. It is called? It's called Forest Springs Camp and Con Conference Center. Used to be called Camp, Camp Forest, Forest Springs. Springs, but they changed it. They do more there. They have over 15,000 visitors every year, and the majority of them visit in the wintertime. Yeah. These people are crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, but we were there, and I just couldn't believe all of the different activities that they have. I mean, we started out in a full-blown petting zoo. So, Jonathan, you work here from time to time at the Camp Four Springs. So what is in that building up there? Eminoles. Animals? Eminoles. Eminoles? What flavor do they have? Various flavors. I can't remember how many, but a lot. Let's go see them. Okay. Yeah, they have a little mini farm, and they have a cow, they have goats, sheep, ducks, chickens. Turkey? Turkeys. And he was a pigs. very handsome gobbler. Those goats are going to be stinky? There's some males over there. They're going to be stinky They get the ripe. They get smelly. Ne not this year, but next year. Ooh. Do you know how male goats do their thing? No, we don't want to discuss that over the... No. <laughs> hey, guys, how's it going? You guys are looking dyed in the wool here. Oh, yeah. And they raise the pigs and they butcher them later. Now, this is something new. I've seen a lot of people love on animals a lot to where they'll go to really crazy extents to give them some kind of awesome thing. This pig, or these pigs, have a shower. Look at that. On, off, on, off. They have a shower. That's great. <laughs> okay, they had, they had an, a Ford 8N tractor. That, that caught my eye. Yeah. And I asked him if they, if they do anything with it, do they use it? He's like, no, oh, not really. We just kind of have it out here. Right. For so that kind of hurt me just a little bit mm -hmm. on the inside, yeah. especially since my tractor needs a radiator. Right. And I'm like, well, if you're not doing anything with it, uh, <laughs> uh, they were not keen to the uh, idea. No. Mm -mm. But there was also, I mean. There was a, a baseball diamond. Yep. There was archery. And of course, where did we find hope? Dun, dun, dun. By the equine nest animals. Equiny. Equiny? Equinese. <laughs> hey, Krista. Look at that. That looks like fun. They, they get you soaked up, and then they fling you down with water. Mm -hmm. And that's got to be a good 400 feet long. That looks that like a lot of fun. That looks like a blast. What do you say, Hope? Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they're ready. No. No. Jack, 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 no, no. Jack, 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 Jack. And what am I supposed to make of this, Jonathan? I have an attack bear. You got a bear. Yeah. It's a bear. Big piece of copper. That's a big piece of copper? Big piece of copper. We just learned what kind that is, and I forgot, actually. Yeah, so I guess I didn't really learn. No. So, do you guys ever feel like you've got something hanging over your shoulder? I just, I don't know. Get that sneaking suspicion. Yeah. 
This place is pretty awesome, Mama. Yeah, it pretty is. rock and roll. Oh yeah. There was um, BB guns, air rifles, um, and we didn't get to see it, but they say that they shoot trap. Yes, there's also a high ropes and low ropes course. And then there's obviously the fit of uh, the uh, swimming and fishing. There was all kinds of activities down on the beach. Down at the lake, they have uh, the paddle boards that you stand on. They have canoes. They have the paddle boats. There's Jonathan. He's way down there, and he wants a drink. Open wide. Mm. All, right. Oh, all right. Nicely done. What else was there? The rowboats. They had oh. all the big things to jump off of, the little bouncy things that'll bounce you into the lake. They had those big bladder things yeah. that one person's on one end and the other person gets launched off the end. There was also these floating mats that were probably 10 foot by 6 foot wide. And Grace. the entire time, Grace is trying to stand on these. And you can. You can stand on them. You can even run across it like you're walking but on it's water. Like... It's right. Very wobbly. She spent the entire two and a half hours trying to get up to and stand. And she did get up. She did. She yep. did. It was, she was determined <coughs> to do it. And they had full-blown facilities for a big church service and the the amount of infrastructure they have at this place is really impressive they even had and this is what's this is kind of cool because when you're living in the north woods sometimes you have to make a trade of different stores and restaurants and things that you really like so that you can have the privacy of being out here mm -hmm. um, but they had a full-blown coffee shop that would compete with any starbucks oh yeah definitely there was an ice cream shop there's also um from the they have 21 hotel style rooms with yeah. each, their own individual bathrooms and there's a tunnel going from the the hotels to the conference center oh for when it's really for cold when out it's winter time that way you're not having to put all your winter stuff on and yeah it's and it's great for folks who and there's an elevator there's great for folks who have mobility issues that they mm -hmm. can come and visit too and they can go through this tunnel and it's really really neat well and they also had a very big dining facility mm -hmm. and the meal was very good it was really good i really will say really one good. thing one thing i didn't like at all is for the salad they only had the crinkly Weeds. They had big screens. She likes them. I, I don't. Them. The weeds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, needless to say, we had a blast we with did. our friends, mm -hmm. and um, I just thought it was cool enough to share. So hopefully, you liked it. Yes. So something we missed out on talking to you about on our live stream yesterday was these really really cool amber jars. They block 99% of the UV. I cannot wait to put our colloidal silver in these. Well, yeah, the colloidal silver, you got to keep it out of sunlight, any yep. direct light at all. Oh, yeah. And there's probably a ton more uses for it. We're not just thinking of them yet, right. but probably a lot of medicines, mm -hmm. I would think. Yep, essential oils. Yeah, mm -hmm. but that's cool. Brand new. Yep. Amber jars. Awesome. Now, one thing that we're actually doing differently as a channel is um, do in large part to this platform, YT. They've been censoring a lot of what we do and a lot of things are just disappearing and a lot of things are being demonetized whenever it's a subject that's, in their version, controversial. Yeah. Anything dealing with preparedness right. or any opinion thing that you have that doesn't fit their narrative. Also, a lot of our, our Christian devotional videos all of a sudden are just gone. Mm -hmm. So we are um, exploring and have started to post content, uh, and the link is down below, but it's Patreon. Mm -hmm. And um, all of our Christian stuff, There's, you're going to have access to that. We're not going <coughs> to stop doing YouTube videos, but anything that we feel like we need to communicate <coughs> with you guys that won't just disappear, it's going to be over there. So take a look at the link down below, because we've already started posting a lot of stuff mm -hmm. that would not make hep, hep, happy our hosts here at YT land. Yeah. So with that, guys, we're going to say good night or goodbye or good morning whenever time you're watching it. If I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and, and good night. night. I'm Brad. And I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing day.
Thank mm-hmm. you.